Hey guys, welcome back to Dark Angel Beauty. Thank you so much for tuning in today. We're gonna do another tutorial, another first impressions. This one is actually a palette that I just picked up. Um, I did try and pick it up actually at Christmas time. It was on sale. It came broken. They would not uh, let me ship it back or send me a new one. So I uh, had to bring it in person. And then in person, they did not have the palette. So I wound up getting a refund for it. And I decided to go ahead and pick it up again. I ordered some skincare and some hair products from Ulta, even though I'm trying really hard right now not to order stuff. Uh, just because I uh, I did need, I'm showering every day now with COVID. After I get back from work, I have to shower every day, which I normally wouldn't do. So I ordered some shampoo and all that good stuff. So I picked up a couple of palettes. Um, we did actually, tangent, we did actually put in another Ulta order today, a very large one. Uh, it's 21 items, $213. And I mainly bought affordable products that I could use to still do looks for you guys. Um, but that wasn't going to be like my really expensive products, like my $40, $50 foundations. I got a couple like, four to six dollar foundations same thing with concealers stuff like that things that are affordable um and i'm really excited to do a look with that as well so that is a little tangent but today we are exploring the makeup revolution patricia bright rich in color palette it is a 28 color palette it is absolutely gorgeous has a lot of things to do just the potential is untapped here you've got beautiful blues purples reds oranges there's some neutral colors you can do a lot with but today uh, I am in pajamas. I am in a onesie from Me Undies, and it is incredibly comfortable. And I am, we're going to get dinner, but we're picking it up and obviously bringing it back. So like, it's not like I'm going anywhere. Um, so today I'm gonna do some bold eyeshadows in my pajamas and we're gonna see how it looks just for the fun of it. So I'm thinking we are going to wind up using yellows, reds, and oranges today because there are a couple really beautiful shades that I'm very interested in digging into. I think I'm gonna do a couple of videos with this particular palette because it is so large and there's so many things that you can use it for. But today I'm thinking we're mainly gonna go in with uh, Miss Tropicana, Flames, Vitamin C, uh, yes, peaches, maybe pillow talk. And then probably just because I always like my neutral shades to kind of blend everything, we're probably gonna use Heligant and Shimmering, which are these two right over here. So without any more rambling, let's jump on into this bad boy. If you haven't subscribed to the channel and you like what you see, you should consider doing that because we're super fun here and we uh, always try and put up new and, and innovative content. I don't know if innovative is the right word. We just kind of do makeup, but we, we try, we do our best. So I'm going in with Yes Peaches, which is the orange color. And I'm just gonna use a fluffy brush and kind of give it a nice kind of wide base on my outer corner. I will say Makeup Revolution is one of my favorite affordable palette brands right now. When I look for palettes that are uh, relatively inexpensive considering what you get for them, I normally look at them and BH. I think they have some of the best products for the price point out there. Not that there aren't other great brands that are like relatively affordable, but I just really like all of the palettes and stuff that they do. And they're constantly, both brands are constantly putting out new products. The order we got today, I actually picked up two more BH palettes. I picked up a couple more Revolution palettes, which I think, I, I may be mistaken, but I'm almost positive that Makeup Revolution and Revolution are either sister companies or one is the parent brand, but I believe that they are affiliated and um, I'm pretty excited about the ones that I picked up from Revolution today as well. So we'll see. I know it's probably gonna take about a week plus to get them because that's what it took to get the last uh, order and this one was much larger, but it was stuff, I was like, I'm really trying hard not to buy things and uh, I really uh, was going through foundation very quickly because we're doing tutorials almost every day, which is a great thing. But I was just like, well, I'm sitting in my house and doing tutorials. I really don't want to use my, you know, $49 Tarte or Stila or, you know, any other expensive brand foundation when it's not really going to be seen in my day-to-day -day life, so. All right, got a nice base. I'm going to go in with vitamin C, which is that really neon yellow color and just do a little bit to blend into it and I, re oh, I really like the way that looks. I'm not gonna do it at all on the end, just kind of my inner corner, kind of midway through. I really like that yellow color. I think that yellow color would be absolutely gorgeous on its own too, but as a blending shade into the orange, it works really, really well. So now I'm going to take just a touch of the Miss Tropicana, which is that dark uh, red shade all the way at the bottom. And I'm going to do just a little bit of that down here. I will say the biggest thing, the thing that I love the most about Makeup Revolution is I feel like they create a formula and they create colors that really blend in seamlessly with each other. Like you don't have to do a lot of work 
to make it all seem cohesive. And I really, really appreciate that because the less blending you have to do, I think the better um, the formula is, just in my personal opinion. I'm not saying that you won't have to blend and that blending is not important, but I think it definitely says a lot about a palette that can do that very seamlessly. Okay, I'm actually gonna go in now with my finger and I'm gonna use Flames. Flames is really hyper pigmented glitter shade. That's it right there. Um, I'm gonna go in with my finger at first and I think this is gonna pay off better with a finger, but um, we'll see. I may have to go in with a brush. That's what it looks like on my finger, which obviously you guys can tell that it picked up very nicely. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's no joke. So it is patchy in a couple places because it is a loose glitter shade, what I would call a loose glitter pigment. So I think what I'm actually gonna do is get a good base of the loose glitter on there and then I'm gonna go in uh, with one of the matte shades over it and try and hopefully give it a little bit more filled appearance and dimension to it. But it is really, really pretty. It is very red. Like nobody's gonna be like, oh yeah, that's it. I think it's there, like you can tell. So now we're gonna take, I'm gonna take my little taper brush and I'm just gonna do just like a little pat of the orange. Just kinda in the, the blending. And then in my inner corner, I'm gonna use the white shimmering. So I went ahead and I just did a little bit of the shimmering white shade in my inner corner and on my brow bone. I also took just a touch of the yellow, the vitamin C that we used at the beginning and I just kind of blend it in like this to kind of give it more of a natural fade into my skin. And I just have to say, I really, really like the way everything kind of worked together. There's a very seamless touch to all of the blending. Like I said, I really didn't have to go in there and work super hard like um, a lot of palettes make you do. So I really appreciate that as well. I'm just going in right now and touching up just a couple places where I can see a little bit of patchiness or a little bit of like blending that hasn't kind of fully uh, developed yet. But I really like this. Honestly, the, the shade that I'm most disappointed with is going to be Flames, which is that glitter pigment. With those hyper glitter pigmented shades, a lot of times you do wind up having issues with it kind of being full coverage. So I'm not surprised by it. And I think it works out really nicely. Um, I'm really happy with how everything turned out. So again, this is the, uh, uh, let's see, Rich in Color, Rich in Color by Patricia Bright palette from Makeup Revolution. I believe it is $25 naturally, um, but I think I picked it up on sale. I think I wound up paying like 15 or so for it. So a really amazing deal considering you get 28 really gorgeous shades and a huge mirror in there as well. I don't know if we can fully appreciate it. I'm sure you're gonna get some reflectiveness on it, but like that's a huge mirror. That is a really huge mirror. That's a really nice and a durable mirror at that. So. so that's what the front of the palette looks like. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, obviously we're just kind of doing stuff right now that I want to test out. I want to give you guys some um, perspective on it. I know a lot of places right now are trying to do free shipping, sales, things like that. So you guys can get um, hopefully some good deals if you're comfortable ordering right now. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, like I said at the beginning, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, please do that. We are definitely looking to expand the Dark Angel family and we're growing really quickly and we, we love and, and are so appreciative of everybody who joins and subscribes to the channel and follows us. So if, uh, if you like what you see here, please consider doing that. Just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell so you see when we post content, which is basically every day right now. And uh, if you like the video, definitely give it a thumbs up because that helps it, uh, our channel out a lot as well. Other than that, I hope you guys have a wonderful day and stay girly with a dark twist.